Kate. Where's the anchor lady? Oh. How was it? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask the new substitute weekend anchor, Robin? Thanks, Robin. It was awesome. Back to you, Robin. Congrats! That's so cool. Yeah, I felt really bad bailing on Ted, though. Oh, don't even worry about it. In fact. And then Lily told her the whole story, right down to the brown shoes with the little snowflakes on them. And by the end of it, what? I know who she is. You know who she is, but you weren't even at the wedding. Actually, I kind of was. What? Well, after the newscast, I was so excited, I decided to surprise Ted by going to the reception. Excellent hugger. Oh, thanks. Um, but I don't actually cry in front of people or cry at all for that matter. Oh, man, it's gross. Is everyone snot up this much when they cry? Hey, you're speaking to a fellow snotter. <laughs> so why are you crying? Because you have feelings for Ted. I don't know. Maybe? Okay, what is wrong with the two of you? Seriously! He likes you and you like him and just, just, just be together. Jeez Louise, happiness is not that difficult. Oh, look, okay, yes, I cried in the bathroom and that was weird, but that doesn't mean I'm in love with the guy. The fact is, I, I don't know how I feel. Yes, you do. Seeing him with someone else and crying about it? Guess what? That's how you feel. That is nothing but how you feel. Okay, fine. I have feelings for him. Happy? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't change anything. I still don't want to get married, and he's still Ted. <laughs> what I should do is just tell him who Victoria is so he can be happy. Or you could tell him that you're into him, and then you could both be happy. I'm gonna go find him. Well, wait. Which one are you gonna tell him? I have no idea. Oh, I found it. Are you ready to... What the hell are you doing? Some birthday suiting up. I'm sorry, did you want to undress me? No, I thought we were just hanging out as friends. Oh, come on. You have been throwing yourself at me all night. What? I did the opposite. I threw some other girl at you. You invited me up to your apartment to play Battleship. Is that not an internationally recognized term for sex? No. Great. I hope you're happy. You sunk my Battleship. Okay, you and me? That's insane. If you even thought about it for one second... But I have thought about it for three seconds, and it makes a lot of sense. We both think the marriage commitment thing's a drag. We both want something casual and fun, and we clearly get along really well. Wow, that actually did make a lot of sense. <laughs> but what about Ted? I checked with Ted. Hey, Ted, so now that things with you and Victoria are going pretty well, I assume you're probably over all the girls you entered before, right? I take your silence as a yes. So, ergo, therefore, say I were to hook up with someone, say, I don't know, Robin, you'd be cool with that, right? <laughs> sure. Good luck with that. Ha! Totally gave us his blessing. Really? Really. So, Ted didn't care that you wanted to make a move on me? Didn't care at all. Like Ted. I didn't say that I liked Ted. You I... like Ted. Wow. This is huge. Barney, I don't like Ted. He's moved on, and I'm really happy for Yeah, him. yeah. Look, are we going to play Battleship or what? You're not going to tell him, are you? No. 
That's the bro code. A bro doesn't tell a mutual bro that a third bro has a crush on him. <laughs> Just like the third bro doesn't tell the mutual bro that the original bro went bare pickle in front of her. It's quid pro bro. A7. Miss. Of course. She didn't. <laughs> I love you. I said it. Feels right. I love you. I'm gay. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you too. Mm. 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 Hey, you lost your I love you Ginity. Yeah. I guess I was just waiting for the right guy. <laughs> hey, sorry about running off like oh, that. Oh, it's okay. Well, you I'm... would not believe the trip I just had. I was on a plane for almost a full day, but it is worth it to see you get married. God, how could I not be here? You can't come to the wedding. Oh, thank God. What? Ted, it's weird. It's not weird. It is weird. Do you know how it feels to be somebody's ex at their wedding? Stella. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. I win. We broke up over a year ago. Yeah, but that's not that long ago. Watching you marry another woman isn't exactly something I was looking forward to. I don't know. I, I just thought if I ever changed my mind about marriage and kids, it was, it was nice to know that you were there. So I was your safety school. How flattering. No, that, that's not it. It's just that... Why are you bringing any of this up? There, there's nothing between us anymore. Well, maybe there is. I, I mean, of course there is. That kind of stuff just doesn't disappear without a trace. Look, I'm not just another guest here, Ted. Right. We used to date, but we both moved on. And, and, and look, we got what we wanted. I'm getting married. You got your dream job in Tokyo. And they all lived I happily ever... I my job. You what? I'm moving back to New York. I, I thought I wanted that job, but I want to come back to my real life. And I think you should go back to yours. What's that supposed to mean? Don't get married. Look, you're rushing into this. It's, it's like you're trying to skip ahead to the end of the book. Ted, you're the most romantic guy I know. You, you stole a blue French horn from me. You, you, you tried to make it rain. I did make it it rain. It was a coincidence. <laughs> but after all that, this is how your great romantic quest comes to an end? You're just disappearing into someone else's wedding, someone else's house, someone else's life without a second thought. That's not the amazing ending that you deserve. That's not Ted Mosby. I love Stella. She's the one. If you really feel that way, I guess it's a good thing you're not coming to the wedding after all. I know where the locket is. What? I know where the locket is. It, it was a few years ago, right before you were supposed to marry Stella. I went down to the bar one night, and what should I see? Lily! Hey, girl! I got a question for you. Why isn't Ted marrying me? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just, I, I should be happy for him. And yet, here I am, moving off to Japan just to get away from him. And, and I guess to see those, those terracotta warriors in the Great Wall. Well, that's China. What, this note is just a paper plate. Oh, uh, we should get out of here. Come on. Oh, totally. I know just where we should go. Man, you're fast when you're drunk. But at least you're still making good decisions. Central Park, around midnight, digging a hole with a spoon. Solid. Oh, jackpot. What is that? By something old. Oh, and this locket was my grandma's. She kept it hidden in her butt all through World War II. What? Where was she? Winnipeg. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna wear this when I married Teddy, because that's not gonna happen. 
So I am taking it with me to Japan. Okay, Lily, help me put this locket in my butt. Oh man, is Ted still wearing his hanging Chad costume? How old is that thing? It's gone from played out to charmingly retro and back six or seven times now. Kind of like Ted himself. <laughs> Tonight it's working for him, though. How do you do this, Ted? How do you sit out here all night on the roof in the cold and still have faith your pumpkin's gonna show up? Look, I know that odds are the love of my life isn't gonna magically walk through that door in a pumpkin costume at 2.43 in the morning, but it seems as nice a spot as any to just, you know, sit and wait. Um, can, can you tell Lily I, I had to go? I got a split. Speaking of splits, you think I can do a split in midair like my boy David Lee Roth? I know you can't. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, my scrotum! <sighs> I can't get out of this thing. I'm holding it. Wait, are you leaving? Yeah, I got a big day tomorrow. I gotta get some sleep. No, you can't leave. This is a big moment. We're saying goodbye to the apartment. The whole gang has to be here. The gang? Do you know who the gang is to me, Lily? Here's what the gang is. The gang is a married couple who I never see anymore about to have their third kid. It's my ex-husband hitting on slutty cops right in front of me, and it's the guy I probably should have ended up with, with the beautiful mother of his child. Oh. Hey, we should get lunch sometime. I'm my own boss now, so I have plenty of time to... to drag your poor daughter in the city to brag about past career triumphs? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> hey, you like daddy's stories, right? <laughs> How did you and mommy meet? I'll tell you later. You got gored by a bull? I got gored by a bull. <laughs> I was in Spain, and we were shooting this segment on bullfighting. My producer thought it would be super cute if I got into the ring and tried it. No. Spoilers, I got gored by a bull. You got gored <laughs> by got a bull. gored by a bull. So after that, I decided I'm just going to do some anchor work at the studio, stay yeah. put a while. I even adopted five new dogs. Five? Why is it always five with you? <laughs> One dog's for wimps. That's practically a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you're in the city full time, we'll see more of you? Yeah. Good. Because it's all just going by so fast. I know. I, I think about that all the time. I mean, when I think about all the memories, all those nights at McLaren's. I mean, how did we end up here, you know? I am so glad you said that. I, I feel that way too. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my life. Got my face on a bus, but does anyone ever get to this age and not wonder what could be different? Remember we had that deal? If we're both still single when we're 40? I guess I should wish that I made that deal with someone else. But I don't. You are my best friend, Ted. You are more than that, and I miss you. And I've been feeling crazy for thinking about it, but now that I know that you feel the same way too, I don't feel crazy anymore. I meant, how did we end up here at this restaurant instead of McLaren's? Wow. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. It's... You're really happy, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still the overthinkingest person ever. Most overthinking? Biggest overthinker? Well, <laughs> that is going to keep me up tonight. <laughs> but, uh, I don't spend a lot of time thinking, what if? I guess that's happiness. Not that I'm telling you what happiness is. I'm just saying for me, it's... I'm happy too. I am. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm really glad you're happy. Oh, I am so sorry. I gotta pick up the kids. Oh. 
Did this get weird? Oh, no, no, no. Go, go, go ahead. I'll, I'll take care of this. I, it, it was really great to see you. Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> You're okay, right? I'm fine. No major problems. Major problems? 